Alright guys, welcome to your 46 tutorial and in this lesson we're going to be working in the main chat window. The chat window where everything gets displayed, all your you know little prompts that says closing connections, waiting for a connection, and also when you're having the conversation, this is where all of your messages are going to appear such as you know client, hey Bucky what's up, server, not much, you, client, um, not much, just going to the movies later, want to come, server, sure, what time? and it says you know stupid stuff like that so pretty much the entire history of your conversation is going to appear in this chat window area so the way that we code this is a little bit different than you may think so I'm just gonna make a method right now that updates chat window and guys like I said the chat window is the main area that you can view everything and of course this is called show message so private show message looks pretty good and final string text is what we want to add in there alright so whatever we pass in here is basically going to be treated as a string and it's going to um, of course appear in our chat window I guess is the easiest way I can explain it so I want to mention this usually whenever you build a GUI what you want to happen is you build everything and say okay this is their GUI this is what they got so whenever we built this first we said um let's see we gave them you know a text area that they can type stuff into the screen and we also gave them a chat window that you know everything gets displayed in and we also gave them a title bar because you know we were that nice but what we want to do now is we want to say okay you know that we just built that you know GUI well actually we want to change something in it we want to change the text that appears in the chat window so instead of having to build our entire GUI again and show it to them show the brand new GUI what we can do is we can actually update parts of the GUI instead so the only thing we want to update is the chat window because that's the only thing that's going to change so in order to update a part of your GUI what we need to do is we actually need to use swing utilities class and there's a method called invoke later now what this does is it basically allows you to create a thread let me go ahead and make sure everything is uh, there we go what this does is it allows this method to say okay I'm gonna set aside a thread that's gonna update the GUI so now anytime you want to change the GUI you don't have to close it out and create a new entirely new GUI you can just have a thread that updates parts of the GUI so why am I saying you want to update the GUI well you want to update the part or you want to update the text inside the chat window so this is how you do that so again we need since this you know sets aside a thread we need a thread new runnable and the method that gets called is public void run alright so basically what we did now is we created a thread and whenever we want to update the GUI then this is the method that gets called which is run so what do we want to update well the only thing that we want to do is we want to add a new line of text at the bottom of the chat window so chat window go ahead and call the method append which pretty much means add something on what do we want to add on well whatever string we passed it in which we named text and that's all what this does is this one line of code is it adds a message to the end of the document and then once that message is appended to the end of the document it updates chat window using this bit of code right here so again one last time anytime that we want to send a message for instance we type something into um, our text box right here well first of all we type something in there it got that text it called okay send message and I'll say I typed in you know OMG WTF barbecue so I type that in it calls okay send message so it scrolls down here it says okay send the message OMG WTF barbecue so what it said is it said okay and I said said a lot okay take a deep breath Bucky it created a thread and it said okay 
I'm going to append that text on the end of the chat window because there's already text that appears in there as of now. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to update the portion of the GUI that is the chat window. So instead of having to create an entirely new GUI, that's what you guys get, an updated portion, which makes it appear flawless fluid like you're having a nice simple conversation and everything runs smoothly so there you go that is how you show a message on the screen by updating that small portion of the GUI in the next tutorial what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking care of this one last error and guys this is the last method that we have to take care of in this program which is able to type and what this does is basically sets the um, text fields so that it's editable and you can type stuff in it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.